me after after the trial. But Yossi says, you know, you haven't achieved anything here. He said, all you've done is send me back to where I came from. But I said, well, yeah, Charlie, that's true. But as far as I know, you've never been in the green room before. The, the green room is, is, is a reference to San Quentin uh, um, gas chamber. The next year, I was driving my car, and the car radio was on. And I heard where the, where the U.S. Supreme Court had set aside the death penalty, Furman versus Georgia. And the very first thought that came into my mind is that what Manson had told me at the end of the trial was true, that all we did is send him back to where he came from, and he doesn't mind prison life. So in a sense, and I hate to say this, in a sense, Manson has beaten the rap. It was 1972, and Pat Krenwinkel and Leslie Van Houten were still young women with a lifetime ahead of them, a lifetime to face what they had done. More than 30 years after the murders at the Tate and LaBianca homes, Charles Manson, Patricia Krenwinkel, Leslie Van Houten, Susan Atkins, and Tex Watson are all still in prison serving life terms. All have been reviewed for parole numerous times, but it's always been denied. You can have the rest of it and put me back in my cell. This is all I really want to do. Charles Manson has not even attended all of his hearings. I don't think there's a decision among you, is there? Now Charles Manson is moving into his 70s, and Tex Watson and the women are in their 50s. To listen to Manson, Pat Krenwinkel, and Leslie Van Houten today is to hear very different memories of those events well over a quarter century ago. If anything, the, old, the older I get, the harder it is. Mrs. LaBianca was younger than I am now. I took away all that life. I see blood in here every day. Every day someone's getting shot, someone's getting cut, someone's getting beat. I've lived in that all my life, woman. That don't wrinkle up my forehead. You can pile up the hundred dead bodies up in front of my cell and it don't set me to do nothing. Every day I wake up and know that I'm a destroyer of the most precious thing, which is life. And living with that is the most difficult thing of all. And I do that because that's what I deserve, is to wake up every morning and know that. You know, it didn't happen overnight. He spent a lot of time taking middle-class girls and remolding them. I never broke nobody's will. I never told anybody to do anything other than what they wanted to do. Oh, Charlie's just absolutely lying. There wasn't one thing done that was even allowed to be done without his expressed permission. Wait a minute. I said, you do what's best for you. You do what you feel is right. You do what you think is right. Now, whatever you think is right, it's got to be right. All I'm doing is I'm walking with, the, I'm walking with you, I'm walking in line with you, and I'm holding the line with you. What you do is up to you. It's got nothing to do with me. You know, I, I take offense to the fact that 25 years later, Manson doesn't own up to his share in this. I take offense to that. I take... Um, responsibility for my part and part of my responsibility was helping create him every once in a while I get letters from children and um, they seem to think that what we did is all right there is nothing nothing that we did that is all right nothing he was not Jesus Christ or Satan he was a very odd, bizarre, high-energy, little antisocial who had some poor, confused, middle-class dropouts who decided to follow him. And he got into a situation where he had enormous power over these people, and he pulled it all together into this incoherent, hateful kind of plan and there was no one there to say, Charlie, girls, this is crazy. Saturday at 8, a &E is issuing you a search warrant. Search for justice on American justice. We know we have our man. Search for evidence on cold case files. DNA is like the finger of God pointing down. Search for truth on City Confidential. I'm selling sex like other people are selling soda pop. You'll find them all beginning at 8 tomorrow on A&E. <laughs>